Hello everyone and welcome back. This is Veteran Mountain Man on your Spiritual Thursday. And I want to ask everybody a question. Have you ever greeted the sun? Now for those of you who don't listen to all of my channel and just listen to my pagan Spiritual Thursdays, I was out at a friendly camping event this past weekend you wouldn't really have noticed because I scheduled a lot of stuff to go up including last spiritual Thursday before I left I in fact posted it to unapologeticpagan.com and then boogied right out the door to the area where I was going to be camping took what I needed with me to be able to eat sleep and have a little bit of comfort but not so much that I had to rent a U-Haul truck Anyhow, one of the things I do when I camp is I often get up right at the false dawn and I greet the sun and I allow the sun to wash over me. And there is this energy in the sunrise that I can't really describe. I mean, you're sitting there and it's cold and it's crisp and you can feel the air moving in and out of your lungs and you watch the sun slowly finish peeking up over the horizon and the light hits you full in the face and it's it's almost like a smile from someone you truly love just seeing it after you haven't seen it in a long time and so for all of my pagans that listen to me and all of the individuals who are somewhat spiritual, I would ask that you go out and you greet the sun at least every couple of months. You'll feel recharged, you'll feel refreshed, and it's just this wonderful, wonderful thing that you can do for free anywhere. I usually do it on my camping trips because it's a perfect time for me to do it. I have to get up and start my coffee and make my breakfast and cook everything out there on my camp stove or on my fire. And it you want to get up early and start that because it's much more difficult to cook over an open fire than it is to cook in your kitchen. It takes longer. You have more steps to get things done. And it's very satisfying to do it. But it's more satisfying to greet the sun, I think. And I think that it's actually helped me calm and center myself some and allowed me to become a better person seeing that sunrise. And I don't just do it for one day. I do it for three or four days every time I go out camping because that's usually how long I'm out there. And I go camping at least three to five times a year. So it gives me a chance to really recharge and focus my mind. So I'd recommend you go and do it at least three times a year, even if you don't do it on the solstice and on the equinoxes. Just go and do it. You'll feel better for it. And don't be trying to do it while you're commuting and it's going to be in your eyes and you're going to be aggravated. Take actual time to just do nothing but watch it rise and come into its power of the day. It'll be well worth it. Well, thank you all again for joining me. Please remember to come on over to Unapologetic Pagan if you're catching my broadcast on some other channel. Uh, Unapologetic Pagan has quite a bit of content besides mine. No, the site is not mine. I am just a lowly contributor. Unapologetic Pagan has his own site, his own feeds, and he also contributes to the site that I broadcast on as well. Also, don't forget to come on over to VidMe or YouTube and check out my two feeds where I do my regularly scheduled programs. You might find some information and stuff that will benefit you even as a conservative pagan because much of what we deal with is the same as any other conservative group. We just have some special needs that are a little different. Thank you all again and have yourselves a gorgeous Spiritual Thursday.